and the food we eat on a daily basis. They therefore impact lives by feeding families and the communities at large. It's a great honor for the World Food Program as a UN agency that fights to eradicate anger worldwide to participate in the commemoration of the World Food Day. In this regard, the World Food Program in the Gambia is in the process of shifting towards employing more sustainable anger solutions. Our contributions are channeled through a school feeding program that reached approximately 170,000 children who are usually among the most vulnerable and at risk. The World Food Program commitment also addresses small farmers who were hit by the 2011 crop failure and most recently those affected by the 2012 floods. The recurrency of emergencies coupled with high food price make farmers more vulnerable and in need of support. The World Food Program in collaboration with the government is continuously prepared to respond to their needs and this is manifested by the ongoing emergency operation on food distribution as well as cash. The theme of today's celebration coincides with the World Food Gambia strategic shift from food aid to more sustainable partnership with the government of the Gambia. Hand in hand with our sister agency, the the FAO, we will prepare the ground to bring food from local farmers to feed our children at the early, early childhood development and the lower basic schools. This initiative will ensure that our children are well fed and eager to learn and their parents, the farmers, will have increased incomes to invest in education, to invest in health and well-being of their families, thus developing the local markets in the process. For this purpose, we need cooperatives engaged collectively in increased production of high quality local foods for the school feeding program and the general food consumption. I would therefore like to commend cooperatives in the Gambia and encourage young farmers to join or even to form cooper cooperatives for a more sustainable future. I am confident that together we can make a difference. Cooperatives, together we are strong. Thank you. Permanent Secretary One, Ministry of Agriculture, Mr. Alfo Marong. Agricultural cooperatives, key to feeding the world, is this year's theme. It has been chosen to highlight the role of cooperatives in improving food security and to contributing to the eradication of hunger. A cooperative means, and I quote, a cooperative is an association of women and men who come together to form a jointly owned democratically controlled enterprise where generating a profit is only a part of the story. Cooperatives put people before profit. They also help their members achieve their shared social, cultural, and economic aspirations. A cooperative is a, is a social enterprise that promotes peace and democracy. This day is celebrated worldwide in many in many and varied forms. This year's celebration is punctuated by a television address on the 15th of October, 2012, by the Honorable Minister of Agriculture, the Right Honorable Solomon Owens, and Dr. Babagana Amadou of the, FAO, of the FAO in the Gambia. Publications were also produced in the print media, in radio, uh, uh, a, a panel discussion was held. 
Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, today we are gathered here to consolidate our commitment in, in, in raising awareness in the fight against the current food crisis through the various species, match passes, exhibitions of agricultural products and machinery. The issue of feeding the world or attaining a sustainable self-reliant food security is a collective responsibility. Hence, all major stakeholders are encouraged to work as a team in view of addressing food insecurity everybody, is everybody's business. In most cases, stakeholders do not know each other or much more do they develop the spirit of working together as a team. This is what cooperative is all about. Institutions like producer organizations and cooperatives contribute to food security by helping small farmers, fisher folk, livestock, forest holders, and uh, other producers to access the required information, tools, and services they need. This allows us to increase food production, processing, and marketing. It also provides the opportunity to create jobs and improve our livelihoods and living standards. It is estimated that some 800 million people in the world suffer from hunger and malnutrition. The exploitation of agricultural cooperatives in feeding the world will go a long way in the drive to attaining the MDG number one goal, which is uh, to bring about food security. Vision 2020, which is our development agenda, the ANR sector policy, the program for accelerated growth and development page, and the mandate of the Ministry of Agriculture. In the Gambia, we have a free cooperatives, but they there will exist a lot of commodity-based farmer groups and associations. Fandema Kapo, Boka Loho, Jokere Endema, Sofarai, that are plagued with bad governance structures and undemocratic governance. As food security is a cross-cutting issue and affects everybody and sector, I pray and hope that this year's celebration will kickstart a process of reflection for better preparedness to address food insecurity through our cooperative efforts. The Agribusiness Service Unit and all other relevant subsectors will take deliberate steps in to bring about the, the, the Fandema Kafo, the Boka Loho, the Jokare Endema, the Sora Fai, Sofayar, to form cooperatives. This can, without a doubt, help to address the problem of hunger and any other related food insecurity problems in the country. To this effect, the Ministry of Agriculture, leading from the result of the National Farmers Conference, is putting forward a proposal to government to help revitalize the cooperative societies. I want to now welcome His Excellency the FAO country representative, Dr. Baba Gana Amadou, to make a statement. I have the singular honor and pleasure to present to you the statement on behalf of the Director General of the FAO, His Excellency Jose Grassano da Silva, and the statement reads as follows. The theme of this year's World Food Day is agricultural cooperatives, key to feeding the world. This theme was chosen to highlight the many concrete ways in which the agricultural cooperatives and producer organizations help to provide food security, generate employment, and lift people out of poverty. For FAO and its partners, agricultural cooperatives are natural allies in the fight against hunger and extreme poverty. Their importance has also been acknowledged through the United Nations Declaration of 2012 as the International Year of the Cooperatives. Over the three decades of the decline in national investments in agriculture and official development assistance, millions of small producers have struggled to respond and to cope with variability and crisis in climate, markets, and prices. Since the food crisis of the 2007-2008, many countries have renewed their commitment to eradicating hunger in the world and improving livelihoods. But in some cases, Mr. Chairman, concrete political program and financial support are lagging behind verbal commitments. The opportunity 